What's up, guys? Uh, this is Luke for Team 323Z, obviously. Anyhow, um, we, as you can see, are not doing a robot reveal just yet or really showing much of anything other than our drive. Yes, it is a tank drive. Um, but the reason for that is that we don't want to really release a whole lot about what we've been doing until we actually have something working. Um, so anyhow, what we do have sort of working so far is a positioning tracker which, if you see here, we have two variables that we're going to be tracking uh, continuously, and that is the current X and the current Y position. Um, and so, anyhow, we're going to drive around a little bit. You can see that just for one reference point, we have the robot set up in the zero, zero position, being aligned straight forwards with then the back of the robot aligned on the fringe of this tile, approximately, and the left side of the robot line on the other side of the tile and we'll show all that. So we're going to start, we have the refresh on continuous. Not pause like it was. So, yes. So now we're going to uh, just make sure that our gyro has cleared. All the values seem to be good on that. And um, this is about 30 minutes into the testing, so it's by no means perfect, but it is definitely a proof of concept. So um, we're going to just drive forward, pretty close to a straight line. And you can see here that it has along the x-axis track that it's gone to the left 64 clicks and forwards about 1300 clicks, which if you look, you can see that it is slightly to the left of the fringe of the tile and it is way ahead of the tile. So um, then if we drive it straight back, That's, again, by no means perfect, but you can see that it says that it's about 30 clicks to the left of where it began, and it is about 13 clicks forwards of where it began, which if you see, it's a little bit behind where it started. Um, I actually know that's about the same spot, but it is to the left of where it started. So um, for basic movement like that, then we're going to do some like swing turns. So we're going to go up to where the scoring is. Um, which we're getting a reading right now of it's about 500x and about 1670, we'll just say 1650 on the y axis. So then we'll drive back to then zero, zero, and it's a little bit off. You can see here it says 67 on clicks on the x axis and 72. On the y-axis, again, this isn't also lined up um, entirely accurately, but then if we drive them back to where we were, um, aligned against that, you can see it's pretty close. Again, it's only off about by 20 clicks of where it was before on the x-axis, and um, by about 50 clicks on the y-axis, which, I mean, I'm just free driving this, so it should be pretty off on that one. But anyhow, um, you can see that if we do all sorts of different movements just like we would in competition. We can come back, even we have a little bit of uh, wheel slippage on the left side, but you can see that then if we come back, it's decently close. Um, you can see that we definitely had some work. The, uh, the x-axis is off by a fair amount, but, um, but we'll be working more on it and we'll let you know when we get more done. So uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Thank you.